As you can see, we have the entire fuse box taken apart. Hey guys, how the heck are you? I hope you're doing great and I hope you're having an awesome day. So, this is really the beginning of the whole build of the Supra. I know we had the first video of the series last week, but this is really the whole beginning of fixing this car up, restoring it, and then eventually going on to the build process, which I'm really excited for. So, in this week's video, we pretty much had to take the whole fuse box out of the car because none of the lights on the inside of it were working and that was because there was a little bit of a leak from under the windshield because there's a rust spot which you guys will see in future videos there was a rust spot and water was leaking through there and it got into the fuse box and corroded a couple things so we had to take it out take the whole fuse box apart and fix all of that as far as other things that we need to fix on the car most of it is just rust we have and you guys will see all of this in the next over the next couple of weeks in the next few videos because I don't want to put it all in this video because what as I'm speaking right now we have done a lot more to the car than what you will see in this video we have basically stripped almost the entire interior like we've gutted it we took the dashboard off and everything which you guys will see in a couple weeks well you'll probably see that next week actually but we had to do that to expose all of all of the rust spots don't worry guys I'm not gonna keep it gutted we're gonna eventually put everything back in the car but we have to do this now to access all of the rust areas in the car so we can repair those as best as we can and make sure that it doesn't spread or get any worse so yeah rust is mainly the bad thing there's there it really isn't too bad it's all of the rust on the car is fixable um, as far as everything else goes, so yeah, I found some trim that I'm going to get so I can fix up the side of the car. Um, we're looking at a, a new right mirror for the car. Um, because that one, as you saw last video, is cracked and it's kind of falling off a little bit. Um, as of door handles, I'm pretty sure eventually we're just going to take the door panels off the car, fix the door handles, and then put the door panels back on the car because it honestly I think it's cheaper and it would be cool because we're gonna get to keep the stock um, the stock original door handles on that car which would be really awesome so yeah guys with all that said let's get right into this week's part of the restoration and build process of this hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see more of this car consider subscribing to the channel hope you guys enjoy let's get right into this Alright guys, right now with the Supra, we're working on it a little bit. None of the interior lights work right now, so what we've been doing is going through the whole fuse box and the wiring stuff. That's why there's like wires galore over here. But we found that there's like a little bit of corrosion in the fuse box. So we're gonna try to fix that up so we can get all the interior lights working. But as you can see, we have the entire fuse box taken apart. And we found the problem about right here. There's a bunch of corrosion and it cut off one of the wires. So we're gonna try to fix it. And this is like a ton of stuff. We're gonna we're about to try to solder it and see what happens. Hopefully we'll be able to fix it. If not, I can try to find a new one for it. Plenty of room. Alright guys, what we did is we made a little wire jump thing for the for it to connect and then we sanded it down. And hopefully it should work. Now we gotta put this freaking puzzle back together. We've got the diagram. Maybe that's what we took a picture of. This is gonna be interesting. Stupid wire we just spent like 10 minutes trying to find. Finally found it. As we managed to fix the fuse box, or so far, so we're gonna try it out and see if it works. My door handles are a little bit shot. All right guys, we're trying to figure out the radio. I have nowhere to start because there's 15 million buttons over here. Um, found a fuse in the ashtray. So, help us get moving along with this. Guys, we got light. We fixed the fuse box. Yeah, the door lights are working, the light on the ceiling's working. I don't know, I'm gonna go check the trunk light. Trunk light is working. Oh, we got dashboard lights on too. Oh yeah, the door jar light works. Yeah. Cool. Fuse box fix in the Supra. Oh, look at where the key goes in. 
Yeah, that's cool. It's like green. Guys, check that out. It's pretty cool. Oh, the radio came on too. Oh, check that out. Radio's oh on. That must supply. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Jeez. Whew. That's the volume. Yeah, but I think it's. That's the. Well, we know it's got loudspeakers in it. Yeah, it's probably got. Yeah. It probably needs a context. Push cleaned. it. That is horrendous. Yo <laughs> guys, check it out. Power antenna's working. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> That's freaking cool. Alright guys, what I'm going to do right now is work on getting the overspray from the paint off of this back panel and then we're going to clean it up and make it look pretty nice. start trying to disassemble the front bumper so I can get the Toyota badge off and so I can take it off so we can fix up that overspray paint problem down there. I think all it is is a few simple bolts to take this first part off and then we'll see what happens from there. Alright guys so off camera we took off the grill and we started taking off trim including around the windshield and we started taking some off the back windows and we did it so we could look inside and there's a bunch of gunk in there which is causing a couple of rust spots that is going to help us it helps us that we took this off so we, it'll be easier for us to do body work on it so what I'm going to do tomorrow is clean up all of these that I have in here and we'll probably end up taking off more trim and slowly I'm just going to clean all these up make them look really nice and my plan is, they have these this like black stuff on the front of them. I'm actually planning on taking all that off because it's chipped and all that. I'm going to take it all off and then we're just going to paint these these entire things black. And I think it's going to give it a lot cleaner of a look. And as for the grill, I know that the Toyota logo I think is supposed to be the color that it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and I'm going to paint it paint the logo white because I think it would just give it a little bit of a cleaner look and I think it would look good. Alright guys, as you can see, I have cleaned up the Toyota logo a little bit. It isn't perfect, so there are still those things on here that I'm going to try and touch up. But overall, it's a lot better than it was before. Here is a before and after picture of it. Got that cleaned up. We're probably going to paint the grill black at some point, and yeah. It's All right, guys, it is time to wrap up this week's video on the Supra. Um, I'm sorry that this was a kind of a short video because I there was going to be more to it, but I realized that I accidentally deleted a little bit of footage. It wasn't too much. It was just like the process of me painting the the um, Toyota badge on the front grill, and. This, just the other process of me trying to take trim off of, of the, not the trim, take the plastic off of the trimmer on the windows. So it really wasn't too much extra stuff, but I can tell you guys now that next week's video will be a lot longer because it pretty much shows the whole process of us gutting out the car so we can fix it up. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. To support the channel and the Supra build, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all of your support and everything. So, yeah, with all that said, let's you guys have a great week. I'll see you guys next week. Um, bye, guys. More next week on the Super Build. Stick around. Okay. Okay. Okay.